I recall a 58-year-old patient who came to me with stage 3 kidney disease that was progressively worsening despite good blood pressure control and diabetes management. Her conventional lab showed normal thyroid function with a TSH of 4.5, technically within most labs' normal range but far from optimal. When we expanded our testing to include free T3, free 2, 4, and a reverse T3 and thyroid antibodies, we discovered significant thyroid dysfunction that was directly impacting her kidney health. After optimizing her thyroid function through a combination of medication adjustments and nutritional support for T4 to T3 conversion, her kidney function stabilized for the first time in years. I'm Dr. Vismar Fan, a physician on a mission to help you break free from symptom management and step into a life of thriving health. Together, we will uncover simple, powerful ways to prevent disease, restore energy, and take control of your health naturally. If you're ready to stop managing illness and start building vitality, you are in the right place. Your prescription for vitality starts now. Welcome to Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma Fan. I'm your host, Dr. Bisma, a functional nephrologist passionate about uncovering the root cause of kidney disease rather than just managing symptoms. So today we are diving into the topic that might surprise you, how hormonal imbalances can significantly undermine your kidney function. So if you've been struggling with kidney issues, the hormonal root cause that we will be discussing today might be the missing piece in your health puzzle. So let's start with thyroid function, a critical yet often overlooked factor in kidney health. So hypothyroidism has significant effect on kidney disease, impacting renal function and outcomes in ways many kidney doctors don't fully address with their patients. Research clearly shows that hypothyroidism is associated with decrease in GFR and increase in serum creatinine levels, which can accelerate chronic kidney disease progression. What's fascinating is that large-scale cohort studies have demonstrated that hypothyroidism independently predicts an increased risk of renal failure and all-cause mortality in kidney disease patients. But here's the hopeful part. Thyroid hormone replacement therapy in hypothyroid patients have been associated with a significantly reduced risk of renal failure. This suggests that properly managing thyroid dysfunction can actually slow down negative effects on kidney function. Even more compelling, Mendelian randomization studies have confirmed a casual relationship between thyroid dysfunction and kidney disease. And we are not just talking about severe hypothyroidism, even subclinical hypothyroidism has been linked to higher protein urea, that means protein in the kidney, and faster decline in kidney function. I recall a 58-year-old patient who came to me with stage 3 kidney disease that was progressively worsening despite good blood pressure control and diabetes management. Her conventional lab showed normal thyroid function with a TSH of 4.5, technically within most labs' normal range but far from optimal. When we expanded our testing to include free T3, free 2, 4, and a reverse T3 and thyroid antibodies, we discovered significant thyroid dysfunction that was directly impacting her kidney health. After optimizing her thyroid function through a combination of medication adjustments and nutritional support for T4 to T3 conversion, her kidney function stabilized for the first time in years. Within less than three months, we actually saw modest improvements in GFR. I actually recently saw her last week and her kidney function improved to 94% from 54, something her previous doctors had told her was impossible. So beyond thyroid, let's talk about cortisol. Not just the feeling of being stressed, but how chronic stress hormones physically change your kidney tissue. Research shows cortisol access promotes fibrotic changes in kidney tissue which basically essentially means scarring that reduces function. Cortisol activates both mineralocorticoid and glucocorticoid receptors in kidney cells, triggering pro-fibrotic genes, that means scarring. This effect is even worse under high glucose conditions, explaining why stress makes kidney function decline faster in people with diabetes and high stress. For patients with stress-related kidney issues, I recommend four-point salivary cortisol testing, not just a single blood draw, which can miss the pattern. 
treatment approaches include structural stress management with breath work and meditation, sleep optimization and careful blood sugar regulation to prevent the synergistic negative effect of high glucose and cortisol. I often recommend ashwagandha, a powerful adaptogenic herb for my kidney patients dealing with stress. Research on ashwagandha is particularly exciting for kidney health. Studies show that it has a bioactive component which has shown significant kidney protective effects. In animal models of chronic kidney disease, this compound actually showed decreasing renal fibrosis and inflammation and apoptosis, suggesting that it is therapeutic for chronic disease. So beyond stress management, ashwagandha demonstrates potent antioxidative and anti-inflammatory properties that directly benefits the kidneys. One fascinating study showed that ashwagandha leaf extract provided significant protection to kidneys by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in cases of toxicity. Even more relevant to our discussion today, another study indicated that ashwagandha extract improved thyroid function while simultaneously preventing oxidative stress in the kidneys of hypothyroidism modeled rats, highlighting how this remarkable herb addresses both hormonal balance and kidney protection simultaneously. Here, I also want to mention about sex hormones, which also profoundly impact kidney health. There is a reason women generally have better kidney function than men until menopause, when suddenly their risk of kidney disease accelerates. This is directly related to the protective effects of estrogen on kidney tissue. Estrogen reduces oxidative stress, modulates the renin angiotensin system for healthy blood pressure, maintains mitochondrial integrity in kidney cells, and regulates fluid balance. For anyone experiencing hormonal transitions, especially perimenopause, menopause, comprehensive sex hormone testing is crucial. Supportive approaches include phytoestrogen-rich foods like flax seeds, fermented organic soy, targeted supplements to support healthy estrogen metabolism and specific antioxidants to mitigate the increased oxidative stress that occurs with changing hormone levels. Another critical hormone affecting kidney health is aldosterone, which does far more than just regulate blood pressure. Excess aldosterone can directly damage porocytes, the crucial cells that form the kidney's filtration barrier, leading to protein leakage in the urine. Research shows aldosterone induces oxidative stress in porocytes by activating NADPH oxidase, leading to mitochondrial dysfunction and potentially the nephron death or the kidney cell death. It also activates inflammatory pathways and endoplasmic reticulum stress, further damaging these essential filtering cells. For patients with elevated aldosterone, I recommend natural mineral corticoid receptor antagonist, a potassium-rich diet with foods like coconut water and avocados, especially if they don't have any stickity stage 4 or stage 5 or do not have any issues with potassium control. And targeted antioxidant support to protect the podocytes from oxidative damage. I also want to emphasize that every person is different and has different root causes. What works for one may not work for the other and the results can be significantly different as well. This is why personalization based on your specific lab results and health assessment is crucial. With kidney disease, you have to be especially careful about the supplements you take as many contain unnecessary filters, heavy metals or ingredients that could harm the kidneys. Always make sure to work with a knowledgeable physician who understands both kidney function, supplement quality, functional medicine, lifestyle medicine. What I hope you take away from this discussion is that kidney health doesn't exist in isolation. Hormonal balance throughout your body plays a critical role in either protecting or damaging your kidneys. From thyroid function to stress hormones, sex hormones, mineral corticoids, these chemical messengers are constantly influencing your kidney tissue. Even though I'm sharing this information, I'm not your doctor and I do not know what is specifically going in your case. So please, before you make any changes, consult your doctor. And if you're dealing with any kidney issues, especially if conventional approaches aren't giving you answers, investigating these hormonal connections 
could be transformative for you. By addressing these root causes, many patients at Kidney Institute have been able to stabilize or even improve kidney function that conventional medicine had deemed irreversible. For those listening who want to learn more about our approach, you can visit drbisma.com. Thank you for joining me today on Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. This is Dr. Bisma Irfan signing off. Stay well and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning into the Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma, where we are rewriting the rules of health and giving you the tools to thrive. If this episode spoke to you, please subscribe and share it with someone who is ready to take control of their well-being. Also, please consider leaving a review. It really helps people find the podcast. For more expert insights and resources, follow me at drbesma.com. Your health, your power, your vitality. It starts with you. See you next time.